there were life on other worlds, what would it be like? At first, it seems like extraterrestrial life would be very different from Earth life. We can imagine a vast diversity of life on planets, on moons, on asteroids, and even on comets. Imagine life on a planet which always had one side facing the sun. The sun side would be too hot and the night side would be too cold, but you might have a ring of life around the constant horizon. Or we can imagine gas giant planets like Jupiter or Neptune hosting millions of colonies of floating bacteria. These might support larger ecosystems of flying and floating creatures happily living their lives among the clouds. What is life? It seems a basic question, but it's actually not all that straightforward. Fundamentally, life carries instructions, reproduces itself, and acquires energy through chemical reactions. In humans, DNA carries the information which tells our bodies which proteins to create to actually carry out the work. However, we know of simpler molecules, RNA chains, which are capable of encoding, catalyzing chemical reactions, and reproducing themselves. It's possible that early life was formed of these RNA chains. Or maybe there was a precursor even to that, with simpler chemicals leading up to this RNA world. The diversity of life, even on Earth, is astonishing. We find life everywhere we look, deep underground, buried in rocks, at the bottom of the ocean in volcanic vents, and in hypersalty lakes we thought to be sterile. We even find thriving ecosystems buried miles under the ice in Antarctica. Life can tolerate high and low temperatures, acids and high alkalinity, airless conditions, and scarcity of water and nutrients. And it's not just microbes. Tardigrades can tolerate freezing, boiling, and the vacuum of space. So what would life in the universe be like? Surely it would be very different from Earth. But since the physical laws and the basic chemistry is the same, it might not be as different as we think. It's even possible that life is transported across vast interstellar distances, hitching a ride on asteroids or comets. Even on Earth, similar evolutionary pressures mean that similar adaptations have occurred many times. Eyes, for example, have arisen independently dozens of times because light is a very useful part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Surely features like binocular vision and redundancy offer similar advantages elsewhere in the universe. This is called convergent evolution. And even though I doubt that intelligent aliens would look like actors in makeup, there may be similarities here as well. Surely bipedal locomotion and the ability to grasp tools might offer significant advantages for them. Perhaps portrayals of aliens with two eyes, two arms, and two legs aren't so ridiculous after all. <laughs>